From Case Western Reserve University, this is the Research Report, highlighting discoveries for life. Our job here is to educate young people. Everyone who comes through the lab says, this is really cool, can, can I sign up? That's because in this lab in the Case School of Engineering in Cleveland, Ohio, researchers get to play with clay all day. We start with a clay like you dig out of your backyard. We combine it with water and polymers, throw it in the blender, mix it up for a couple minutes, and throw it in a freeze dryer. The next day, the mud-like mix is transformed into a high-tech material. You have something that looks like a foam. It's very lightweight, low density, but tough, and it can have some very useful properties. The initial discovery that led to the clay aerogels happened by accident when a student researcher freeze-dried some clay in the lab. What came out was an interesting cotton-like material, but it lacked any mechanical properties. So we said, well, we're in a polymer department here. What if we mix a little polymer in there and essentially plastic coat the little tendrils of clay? We tried it and suddenly got a material that came out that felt like a good, robust foam. And depending on the ingredients mixed in, these clay aerogels can take the form of feather light insulation, foam, electrical conductors, magnets, and even it sounds funny, but it's kitty litter. What if we could make a lightweight version of it? So we ran the clay through the free drying process, and sure enough, our lightweight material matched the commercial product we could buy at the grocery store, but at one-tenth the weight. Chiraldi's team has since developed dozens of materials that are light, inexpensive, and green. We can use plant-based starches. We can use animal proteins. My favorite one is a material called casein, which is a waste product from cheese manufacture. So we have dirt, cheese waste, and off we go. When you're working with dirt, the sky's the limit. Everywhere we look, we're finding new applications for these materials. Low density, porous materials have just hundreds of uses, and we're really just starting to explore uh, the surface of that. This is the Research Report from Case Western Reserve University. For more discoveries for life, visit case.edu.